Well, hello, Man in the Box users. This is Henry Clark, Henry Clark's channel. And today, will you, you ever have trouble coming up with a song? Here's the thing. Man in the Box can help you tremendously in figuring out a song. You don't have to do everything from scratch. That's one of the things about it is you really don't have to do everything from scratch. What happens is that if you can choose the appropriate pattern in Man in the Box, and by the way, this one is for, for newbies, basically, because... You know, the pros, the old band in the box pros, they already know this, okay? <laughs> you know? But for newbies who are trying to get into songwriting in band in the box, right? You don't have to start from scratch. That's one of the things about it. You can go and find an appropriate pattern and pick that pattern and go from there. You know, if you don't read music, that's fine. You, you know, because what happens is that you can find some decent chord progressions that you can use and you can actually build a song from scratch. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through finding a pattern and building a complete song from that pattern, from a band in a box pattern, right? And I had this old, this old, I'm, I'm an old Philly soul guy, so I had this Delphonics thing in mind, right? You know, um, I love the Delphonics, right? <laughs> That's one of my favorite groups. You know, the guy had the great accent. If I ever saw a girl that I needed in this world, you are the one. For me. Anyway, I love that guy, right? You know, so I wanted to build a song that's kind of like that, right? So, but I didn't want to build it from scratch. I wanted some help. So I went into my band in the box pattern, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Because band in the box, in these patterns, they give you complete songs, actually. It's just that they chop them up, right? They've got a lot of they've got a lot of um three choruses in it, right? They don't give you a lot of intro. But if you can figure out a way to manipulate that, and I'm going to show you guys how to manipulate that and make that into a song. So again, so I know this is not for the musician types, right? Because one thing about musicians, man, I'm going to tell you, those are the most critical people on the planet, right? I don't write for musicians. I really don't. I write for people who think I might, who I think may enjoy what I do. Because musicians can be super, super picky, you know. Why did he use that chord there, right? I actually did a song, and the guy said he loved the song, right? But he didn't like the kick drum. You know, the kick drum was, I made the kick drum so that it could kick him. <laughs> because, you know, musicians will always find something about something that the general public, they don't care about. All they care about is, does a song make them feel happy? Does a song make them feel sad? Does it make them feel good? You know, did it like the melody? I mean, some of the most stupidest songs ever, and people love them, you know? So, again, I don't write, write for yourself. Write for yourself. Do not, I repeat, do not write for musicians. And by the way, just so you know, real quick, you know where I learned that from? Back in the 80s, I was in Royal Albert Hall in London, and I was actually talking. Boy, I was, I love it. I was loving that moment, right? But I was actually talking to Phil Collins of Genesis, right? You know, and he was the one who told me that. He says, Henry, don't write songs for musicians because they go always chop it up, man. Write songs for the audience. So I have always subscribed to that. And I hope you can subscribe to that too. So anyway, today what we're going to do is we're going to take a pattern and I'm going to show you guys how easy it is. I'm not going to say easy, but how quick it is that you can actually build a song from an existing pattern within Band in the Box, tailor it and make it something that's actually your own. So again, you know me, I always got to head on over to Band in the Box, right? So I'm going to head on over to Band in the Box, and hopefully we can get started on this real quick, right? Okay, hold on, be right back. One second. Welcome back, welcome back. So what we're going to do today again is we're going to take a, we're going to take a, a, a Band in the Box song, we're going to take a Band in the Box song, right? We're going to create a song from that instead of starting from scratch all over again, right? So again, so I wanted to do, like I said, like some type of Philly Soul, Delphonics type of ballad, right? So I wanted to, and it's, that's kind of in the pop, it's more, it was more in the pop than the soul range. So what I did was I started to go, went to my style picker. I remember a style picker, right? And I already picked, pre-set it up, right? But I picked ballad, right? So I picked ballad. And if you can see right up here, you'll see ballad right up here, right? So I picked ballad four, four time, right? And uh, man, I'll say 85 beats per minute. I wanted to see samples like that, right? So then I started going through a few samples, right? And um, I'll just play a couple of them for you. Oh, that's just too country for me. That ain't Delphonics, right? You know? So then I said, let me just try this electro flute pop ballad, right? Uh, no, no. Well, I, I, actually, that's not too bad, but I, but I, don't, I don't like the flute, you know? But I actually went down here and I found this ballad, that this, this pattern I really liked, which was called Pillowy Dreamy Pop Ballad. And I played that. And I thought that kind of that kind of hit the bill, you know. 
that's that's that that's that silly type soul sound. So I really like that sound that right. So I, I can write around that. So what did I do, right? I said, you know what? I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna use that pattern, that rhythm, that chord structure. So I just said, I want to load this song demo, right? So I'm going to load this song demo, and I'm going to use those chords, right? So notice it says, this will load this loads a pre-made demo song for this style, which will overwrite and replace your current song. So I said, okay, this is cool. What I want to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and take that, right? So I took that pattern, and here it is right here in my window right here. So this is, the, this is what we were just listening to, right? So again, it was... Pillowy, dreamy pop ballad. It's 85 BPMs, right? And it's got this style. And if you check out the style, which I think is pretty good, because it fits what I wanted to do. You know, I'm going, ah, that, I like that, you know. And it's in the key of A, which is not really my key, but I, I, I can work with that, you know. So I like that a whole lot. Now notice, because I want you to notice something here, right? First of all, it has a loop in it, right? I, I don't really need that loop, but, I, but I'll just leave it in for now. But what happens is that you've got these repeat markers here. And notice the song is only 30, what is it? 33 bars long. That's not enough for a song. Because average song, say a three-minute song is probably in the neighborhood of 80 bars, something like that, right? But if you look over here, you'll see it has three choruses, right? So it has three choruses. It's 32 bars long. So the first thing I do, well, actually, the first thing I do is I listen to it, right? So I says, oh, okay, you know what? I'm listening to the different parts. You got a chords, you got a chords flow when I'm building this melody in my head. So I'm going, okay, yeah, that's good. That's good right there, right? You know? Again, here we are again with this. And a chord change, right? Notice the chords changing, which is kind of, I kind of like that, but not too holy. But what has it done for me? Guess what it's done? It's given me all of the chords that I might want to play around with. So what, what is the matter? It's just a matter of me massaging these chords, creating an intro, creating a verse, creating a bridge, creating a chord structure. So what am I going to do with that? Well, the first thing, and this is the first thing I'm going to do, and I've seen this in the forum. People were saying, well, how do I get rinse repeat, right? This is what you do. First thing you do, if you're going to write a song, right, I think it's best. You go to courses, right? And, and, and that, now, okay, first of all, before I do that, check it out. So here's my here's my chorus bar repeat right here, right? I'm going to go here, and I'm going to set the courses to one. Notice that that's gone now, right? So again, I don't have that anymore. So now it's not going to repeat, but it's only 32 bars long, right? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, number of bars right here, right? And I'm going to go ahead and set it to 80 right up front. So I'm going to set it to 80 bars right up front, right? Notice i got a lot of space down here, but that's okay. So now I have 80 bars that I can play around with and putting this song together, right? So again, and remember, I haven't even started talking about playing with other instruments yet. I'm talking about just putting a basic song structure together is what I'm talking about, right? So now when I play the song, and I'm going to play the song, I still haven't figured it out yet now, but I'm, but I'm close. That sounds like that would be a nice, good intro, right? So I'm saying, ah, you know, okay. Nice intro. Don't want that there. That's a verse to me. Go that where, where it goes from where it goes from A minor to F sharp to D and E and A. That sounds like that doesn't sound like an intro to me. That sounds like a verse to me, right? So what am I gonna do? Well, let's to get to get it straight. Like I said, I like this part here. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take and I'm gonna add eight bars in here. So I'm gonna add eight bars in here because I got four bars for intro right now. I'm gonna do eight bars because the song I had in mind, I wanted to start from the hook is what I wanted to do, right? You know, some people start a song from the verse. This time I wanted to start from the hook. So what I did was I said, okay, let me just go ahead and insert. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert eight bars. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna insert eight bars and I'm gonna copy this here. I'm gonna copy these four. And I'm going to go ahead on and put these four bars in here. So now when I do that, uh, I got to do it again. So just put the other, put the other four in. So now I've got an intro, and now I've got my hook. This is the hook that I had in mind, right? So that's my hook. Again, so now we have bar 41. 
That's my hook still. I'm going to eight bar hook and then I'm going to do probably eight bars of the verse. So as I'm setting it up right, right here, so now my verse starts. That's verse one. My verse. So now I've got so now I've got a verse. So I've got what what do I have? I have I have eight bars. I'm gonna just change these part markers here. This is good. This is so that it's clear for me to see it this way, right? So I started the song here. I've got eight bars of uh, eight bars of my first verse. Then I'm, I've got a change in here, right? So I'm gonna put eight bars of my change in here. So again, eight bars of a change. I'm not, I've got this again. I'm, I'm still on the first verse, right? Now, what do I'm going to do now? So now, because in fact, I only did this in an eight-bar pattern that I had in mind, right? So now I'm going to go. I'm going to put my hook back in here, right? So I'm I'm, gonna add, I'm, I'm cut eight bars in here. So I'm just going to say, well, let me just let me just do it. Um, insert. Let me go ahead and insert eight bars here. So I'm going to insert eight bars here. Go ahead and insert eight bars. And I'm going to take this hook. Remember, I said I was starting the song from the hook. So I'm going to take this hook right here. And I'm going to put this hook right here. So I've got, remember, I've got eight bars of that, right? So then I'm going to put this hook right here. Oh, oh, I made a mistake here. Let me go back. Let me go back. Uh, I'm going to undo my eight bars. I've got to go and put it here. So I'm going to insert my eight bars here. So edit, insert. And I'm going to insert eight bars here. Take my hook. Put my hook in here. Remember, this is all about arranging, right? So now I've got my hook, right? What do I need next? Now I'm going to go to my second verse, right? My second verse is kind of a, I'm going to repeat the chords of my second verse from my first verse. So I'm going to go ahead and put in eight bars for my second verse. So I'm going to go into an insert of eight bars. Take my verse again, which is this is remember this part was my verse. I'm gonna take my verse again and I'm gonna copy my verse. And remember, this is all about this is initially, right? As things change, I may change some things later, but as things change, so now I've got my eight bars in, right? Which takes me back again. So now I've got my eight bars in, right? And always, I always mark this just so I know what's going on. So now I've got hook, verse, hook, verse. What comes after the second verse? Another hook. So now I need to put my hook in again. So I'm gonna put my hook in. And you guys gonna, I'm gonna show you guys, you guys gonna see how this sounds in the end. It may sound a little strange to you right now, right? I'm gonna put my hook in, right? So now I need to get my hook. Where's my hook? My hook's right here. Cause remember I, I have identified over here so that I know that this part right here is my hook. So I put my hook in right here. So now I've got my hook in twice, right? So now what do I need to do? Now I need to put in a change, right? So hopefully this change will work. I'm not sure I haven't listened to this change here, but hopefully this change will work. We'll see what the change sounds like. Perfect. Because it comes after the second hook. I've got my change, right? Or bridge, some people call it bridge, right? Now that's to me, that's long enough for a bridge, right? So then I'm gonna take now, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna go ahead and put in uh, probably about 16 bars. So I'm gonna insert 16 bars, right? And I'm just gonna repeat the hook, is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna repeat the hook, right? So again, I'm just taking and I'm gonna copy this. And I'm going to paste. And now I'm going to paste. And I'm going to paste. And I'm going to paste. Now there's some guru somewhere that goes, you know, you can do that. You can do that differently, right? You know, well, okay, whatever. You know, so you can do that. Okay, I'm sure you can do that differently, right? You know, you probably got a shortcut key. 
I'm not, I'm not worried about shortcut keys. This is about showing you how to structure a song and put it together, right? So now I've got a basic song structure. Right now I'm looking at what I'm looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 65 bars, right? And if I play it now, it's a basic song structure. Intro. 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 Now, verse. I'm sorry, hook. That's my first hook, right? Because I'm starting this song from the hook, right? So I'm hook, hook, eight bars of hook. Down my first verse, which is short. That's my verse. Back to my hook. I go through my second hook. So again, here's my second hook right here. My second hook. Which takes me to my bridge. There's my bridge. Yeah, so I actually structured an entire song together that I can play around with and figure out, you know, I've, now I've got enough of a pattern now of a whole song that I can work with this. Bridge makes me back around to the hook, which is the, so usually I end, a, I end a song with the hook, right, you know, you the hook maybe, maybe three or four fades out, you know, something like that, right? So that's, so again, so what I have done, the first thing I did was I found a, a pattern that I like, right? And I haven't even talked about changing keys, things like that. I have found a pattern that I like. I took the chords from that pattern, and I will play with these chords, right? But right now, the chord, I like the chords. I like the, the way the song is driving. I like where it's going. So I will play with these chords. But the first thing I did was what? I took off and made the courses one, which got rid of that repeat that was at the beginning. I made the course one. And I put, uh, in this case, I put 128 bars. I didn't know I put 120 bars in here. I did. I put 128 bars in here, right? Now, usually I'll put like, I'll, let me just let me just back this down. Uh, uh, 80, is, 80 is my recommended, right? And I'll put 80 bars in it, right? Just because 80 bars, usually, like I said, usually takes me in that three minutes, three, 330, somewhere in that time frame there, right? But those are the first things you do. You take that, and then you start structuring the song based on how you hear the melody or whatever in your head. You can do that. And when, when you get that done, right, again, what I, and this is whether you're doing vocals, whether you're whatever you're doing, but you do that, you structure it that way, that helps you out a whole lot, right? And if I show you, I'm going to show you how I change it up, right? Let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, uh, this might be it right here. Let me see. So I changed the key. I changed the key to G. I put some strings in it. I put some extra guitars in it. Put a wah wah. I put the wah wah in it, right? I put an organ in it, right? Just to spruce it up a little bit. And I also added an eight bar intro. So I changed the intro to eight bars. And notice now I've got 109 bars in here, right? So now if you listen to it, it's totally different. Well, same song, but it's now it's structured for me. I slowed it down 10 beats per minute. That's that, that's, that, that's that Philly string sound. I like that Philly string sound. And I would say, I, normally, I would take the strings out of this part, but I wanted them there for a reason because I use my daughter with the song together. So that's why I have everything up nice and, nice and flat. 
you know, Coleman, if I was a racer, totally within Band of the Box, so I would have different, I would have different volume settings from But notice again, my change, is my change. takes you and you're off and running right so again th and again this song I, I wanted something you know and that kind of the alphonic range right you know whatever because i like that kind of stuff <laughs> you know but um so i so i put it together that way right again so my biggest tip for you again is just when you get that pattern you like make, you can build an entire song from what band in the box has already given you most of their songs are 32 bars because they have repeats in there you know take those repeats off first Play with the chords, see what it sounds like. And just to give you a final example of what it sounds like, right? Again, I worked on the song. I, I kind of just wrote it out, right? So it's like, what would it sound like? So this is what the song actually sounds like now that I've actually put it together. Same pattern, same song. I just thought I'd do it a little differently. Yeah, this is so not producer. <laughs> and, uh... All I wanna do is I wanted that old style, you know, the old style when they would overlay their vocals. That was the hook. Here's the verse. the chords from the from the band in the box. that bridge yeah let me see where's that bridge at right i don't want to play the whole song for you and get, get, get bored and i'm like that yeah um let me see if i can find my bridge here right i came off the second hook yeah my bridge is here again same i just changed the few chords around from that bridge but I, i'm still using that same pattern that i found in man in the box I know. <laughs> I just use my expanded my range singers. You guys can do that too. Just expand the range. Go for it. Go for it. And if you can hit this, I appreciate it right here. So again, so that's what I did, right? So I, I made, I created a song called What I'm Gonna Do, right? But how did I start it, right? Well, guess what I did? I started it in Band in a Box is what I did. And this is the song. It's actually called, the, 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 the song was Pillowy Dreamy Pop Ballad. It was, a, what was it? It was 85 beats per minute. It had, a, you know, a few instruments in it. I added some more, like I said, I added some strings, added some organ, right? Added some wah-wah guitar, things like that. So again, these are the things you can do. But remember, that song that you just heard started, let me see this, started right here. It started right here. It started with a loop with three courses and it was 32 bars long. And when I finished with this thing, it was 109 bars long with one course. That's what it was when I finished with it. So just go, hope this helps. 
um, again, yeah, you know, always comments, always welcome, and always subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, 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 right? You know, I can always use more subscribers. But I hope this helps, and especially I hope some of you who have been posting about how do you extend a song, right? Again, the first thing you do is you just make it one chorus and just type in, like, just start with 80 bars and see what happens. Take the band in a box song if you like it, load the chords in, you know, and just try to structure a song from what they Can you be surprised at the things you can come up with? Because, again, we have done a lot of the work for you. So, hope this helps. Again, I will see you guys later and have a great afternoon. Bye.